What's up YouTube? Cliff and Pete here from the Sunday Drive. And today is a day that no one thought that would ever happen. Especially me. Behind us. Definitely not Carl. Behind this door, door number one, is uh, my new car. Without further ado, this is the unveiling. <laughs> Enhance. <laughs> so yes, I did it. I bought a Corvette. A C7 2017 Corvette that had like zero miles on it. I never thought I'd be the first person to hit 100 miles on a car, and I feel like I'm gonna throw up. All right, so first thing, and this is not new to Corvette owners, no door handle, electronic. Got that center display, push the start button. So this is the 1LT package, it's pretty base. Um, seven speed manual transmission over here, and all the Corvettes, of the C7 generation have this screen button. So you push that, your screen goes down. Nice little storage compartment in here. Over here, there's another temperature control for the passenger. And that's pretty much all the passenger has to look at. Um, everything else is geared completely to the driver, which is awesome and hilarious because my friends will get in and they'll be like, I feel secluded right now. I hate these lights because it feels like there's always a cop in my rear view mirror and I'm wondering if they did that strategically. So let me show you Apple CarPlay. So you take your phone and you plug it in. So that's plugged in. Okay. Now Apple CarPlay is in this Corvette. There we go. And you can use the knob to control it. Free Maps is probably my favorite thing right now. And the screen is not flickering in real life, just in the camera. But, oh, that's my actual home address, so that's awkward. Go back. Music, right? So you have complete access to all of your music. So. That's cool. Apple CarPlay, very awesome. I enjoy it very much. Cliff Kalen is calling me. Hello? Hey, hey bud. What's up? I'm feeling, I'm feeling left out of the video. What? I'm feeling left out of the video. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you're in it now. There you go. Look. Uh, so to pop the hood, And that's the hood, and that's Cliff. So in the center console, there's a dial, and the dial will control the driving mode that you're in. And in the center of this dial is the traction control button. Weather is the first driving mode in the order. And I'm pretty sure all that does is it dumbs down the throttle. And then we have, if I go to the right, eco mode. So eco mode will actually enable the four cylinder mode for the motor for saving fuel. But I'll be honest, I did not buy this car with intentions of getting good gas mileage, so not worried about that too much. And the V4 mode kind of scares me anyway, because I don't know, I just feel like it puts uneven wear on the motor. Then there's tour mode and sport mode and track mode. Now, if the car is equipped with the magnetic ride control and the NPP exhaust, then it's probably gonna change a lot more, but in this car, it prob uh, I feel like it only changes the steering wheel feel and the throttle control. Uh, the MPP exhaust would be nice. Funny thing is my car 
actually has the settings for it. So if I go to settings and go to driving mode, under engine sound management, you can change stealth, tour, sport, track, um, and then you can also change the steering control. But I have them both in auto. And the engine sound management won't work. But I was wondering if I could buy the NPP exhaust and retrofit it to this car without the MPP and figure out what wires need to be run or if all the wires are kind of where they need to be in the harness and I just need to add a fuse and connect some stuff up. I don't know the answer to that yet. Apparently this car has valet mode. I haven't set it up yet. I don't know what it controls. <laughs> limit. Maybe I can just limit it to like 20 horsepower. The music's actually pretty decent on this. So yeah, the car is surprisingly spacious. Let me turn the inside light on. Got two lights back there. All this real estate. Look at that. It's a trunk. Look how functional this car is. Cliff could fit in the trunk. Do no, no. Release button. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's a very basic package. I think my favorite thing is actually the rev matching. It's incredible. I'm actually in love with rev matching. Okay. Maybe that's because I'm a bad driver. In case the person you're transporting in the trunk needs <laughs> access to power, there is a power. They have more power. options than the guy in the front. This is child safe. Um, there's locks right here you can strap down your children's right. car seats in the rear <laughs> so if you have a child and you want to safely transport them to locations just can put their fasten them to the trunk also awesome is this is a target top so all stingrays are target tops uh, it's a good compromise between a convertible and a coupe because you don't have to commit to either you're a little bit both Here's the engine, nice and plasticky. Can't really see much. Cool thing though is, it's gonna be easy to work on this. Yeah, it's actually not too far underneath. You would think it would be a lot further under the windshield, but it's not. It has the blacked out badges and the blacked out grill. The black stingray on the side. And then the black rims of course too. And black wheels. Corvette is blacked out. The rear badge and then you got this black is blacked right out. Too. The difference between this and the Z06 is the Z06 has white brake lights. As is traditional with the Corvette, quad tip exhaust. Pink quad exhaust. Did it for you. And one little cool feature that Pete showed me that I thought was neat anyway. Like, I don't know if you're going to see it in the camera, but the tint here is actually a whole bunch of little Corvette emblems. Yeah, see if I can get that. Oh, maybe. There you go. You can kind of see. Also, this is motorized, so if you just get it kind of closed, it'll pull it shut. Now I'll show you how to remove the target top, which is pretty simple. You can do it alone, but you kind of risk damaging the, the paint on the roof if you're not careful. All right, so it's pr super easy to remove the roof, the target top of this Corvette. There's three um, main parts over here, uh, over here. So above the top, two visors, and then there's one clip in the back. Um, so what you do is you just pull that out, pull that out, push that, releases, and then you pick it up. Um, so just push up. Like that, and then you remove it. And the cool thing is, say you're out on the road and the weather's nice, pop the trunk. I'll let Pete do this, I guess, on his own, just to show that it can be done by one person. There we go. It's super light. And there's these little hooks in the front, if you can see. And you'll just line them up. So sit it on top, push it forward. Now these little feet 
will s literally lock in here. Done. Close the trunk. Um, yeah, that's my car. We're gonna have a lot of awesome videos coming of all the firsts of having a new car. What else, Cliff? Stay tuned. Peace out. <laughs> Too much talking. Words, 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 words. All right, guys, stay tuned for some awesome videos upcoming. If there's something specific that you wanna see, DM us below and uh, or post a comment and we will see what we can do for you guys. Enjoy. Peace out, Girl Scout. <laughs>